Welcome to Ghost Ship Harbor. My name is Sam Baltrusis. I'm the author of seven historical-based ghost books, including two that features the haunted vessel you're on now, the USS Salem. Launched on March 25th, 1947 in Quincy, and nicknamed the Sea Witch by her crew, the USS Salem never saw combat, but certainly was a harbinger of death. In fact, the area beneath the mess hall became a makeshift morgue during the earthquake off the coast of Greece in 1953, and it's estimated that at least 400 dead bodies were kept on the vessel. On board, there's a motley crew of resident ghosts, including the Burning Man, who supposedly smells like death and hides in the birthing area beneath the third mess hall where the bodies were kept during the Ionian earthquake. There's also a ghost girl who speaks Greek, a salty sea captain, a growling devil dog, a cook who likes to keep the kitchen in order, and a man named John, who reportedly gives tours of the USS Salem in the afterlife. There's one more. He's an angry sentinel spirit known to get aggressive if you disrespect the sea witch. His nickname? Captain Pipes. My advice to you? Don't piss off. Captain Pipes. <laughs> Hoffman. I'm from Paranormal Expeditions and I'm aboard the USS Salem right now where I've had about six years worth of experiences. Some are pretty horrific um, depending on how much you provoke the spirits on board and we'll be here through the month of October trying to invite you into our little world and hopefully it doesn't scare you too much. A lot of bodies brought aboard the ship. A lot of people, a lot of people died on that island and uh, he brought some bodies on the you know, into the operating room and they died, they had to put them in the freezers down below. The CPO mess is, the, you've heard strange noise coming out of there, and you go in there, there's nobody in there. A couple of years ago at Halloween, some of the girls said that they had scratches. And they were in the, uh, they were in the wardroom pantry. And they felt they had scratches on them after. So have you had any experiences with the Greek ghost on, the, on this vessel? Yes, and I'm not gonna talk. About it. Okay. it was my idea. It's something that I want to do and see if, uh, you know, see if somebody has something they want to say. You know, I'm sure with so many souls, someone has to have a message somewhere. You know, that they want to leave. Do you feel a connection to the ghosts here? I do. I do. Do you feel like that they that you were led here? That I was what? Led here somehow, or I don't know, man. I I don't know if. I, I don't know if I was led here, you know, but it, I felt like I've had to apologize a few times since we've been here, you know, and I have, I've actually apologized a few times. Uh, I felt like I had to apologize the moment we got on the ship and, and after I did, I just got way more comfortable down here, just way more comfortable. Like I have no problem being here by myself Yeah. at, at all. You have to make I mean, disrespect the spirits yeah. of the vessel. You know, just just respect the boat and and, and I'm sure, you know, the, the people the, the spirits that are on this boat were probably grateful for this boat and love this boat and you know are now on this boat. So respecting the boat itself and you know, respecting the spirits too, I mean I, I think it's really important. I think it's really important. And I think it's gotten me it, it's it's what made me comfortable to be down here. I am down here by myself right now. You know, with there's no sunlight, there's nothing. It smells funky. But, um, you know, hanging spiders and making, you know, put spraying blood everywhere. Like, I mean, things that would normally freak somebody out, you know, in a well-lit warehouse. You know, never mind in the belly of a, a haunted battleship. It's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. So, Terry, what are you, what's your role with Frank Ha! Ah, I am the jack of all trades, king of none. <laughs> I do, I honestly, I do everything. I do everything for Frank Tom. I, um... Everything from design and layout of the haunted house to building building props to uh, set dressing to I mean I've even done makeup I've even jumped in and helped them do makeup you know last minute and uh, everything everything so the with this vessel what do you think the like what do you think about it? I think it's going to be a hit oh my god 
Absolutely. I think this is uh, Boston has never seen anything like this. This place hasn't seen anything. I mean, I'm sure there's been haunted houses throughout the years. Never to the level that Fright Dome takes it. Never. That our company takes it to. Never. And now, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better canvas, too. We're inside of a haunted ship. I mean, are you kidding me? It's like, you know, the, you couldn't, there's not enough money in the world to make a set like this.